Hey what's going on you guys I'm Prakha back from techris.com and today we are going to learn something really interesting okay so you know designing is a major part of uh, development because you can write code but without a graphical user interface the app is uh, uh, you know just like a command line you can't do anything graphically so uh, in uh, you know in today's scenario especially a great UI makes a app stand out and uh, because each category has so many similar apps that you have to make your app stand out in order to succeed so you know uh, UI a better UI makes your uh, you know progress easier so now a better UI is having a very important part you know you have to use images you have to use nice buttons you have to use material colors material design and all that is all right but uh, a major part is covered by the word animation okay so animation is everywhere literally everywhere okay it's from the closing of your activity to the starting of your activity to the launch of your app and to the closing of your app it's literally everywhere and you can customize it via many ways in android you know you can add alphas you can add the uh, you know closing uh, uh, you can add rotation you can uh, rotate on any axis that you like or you can do anything but you, what you can't do is uh, render these complex animations like this easily in android or be it in any development platform now what i am going to tell you is a thing called lotti so what is a lotti lotti is a library uh, which is developed by airbnb if you have uh, heard about the company because it's a uh, uh, quite a large company in the tech world so it's uh, designed by airbnb it renders after effects which is adobe after effects uh, you know it, uh, uh, it it renders the after effect uh, uh, animations uh, from a JSON file so what happens is uh, when you create an animation in the After Effects and then via plugin uh, you transfer it into a JSON file okay so it's not an animation file or it's not a video file it's a JSON file okay like uh, if you have uh, you know if you don't know what is JSON then you can do a Google search and you'll get to know what JSON is okay uh, any of web guys seeing this or uh, you know is guy uh, you know the people who are advancing in android development may know what is json and i'll show you guys what is json files don't worry so what uh, you know what the thing that excites me about lotti is uh, how easy it is to set up and uh, with the just you know click of your finger it's all done it's all there you don't have to do anything you just need to have uh, 10 lines of code in your xml file and that is all that is literally everything that you need to do and uh, yeah it can render on web it can render on ios as well as android you have to import the library as well uh, so what i'm going to do uh, you know apart from this i'm going to tell you a great resource that you can use it on so just click uh, get started integrate lottie you can select android okay let let it load it will transfer you to the github page there you can add the dependencies oh my god my internet slow ah these people never mind okay till then i'm going to tell you about lotty files okay so uh, it's not possible every time that if you want uh, the animation for a small thing like let us uh, let us consider a heart if you want an animation for a heart you you are not likely to go and create it in after effects and uh, you know many of us can not afford uh, the after effects or the adobe uh, subscription fee right so lotty files make makes it uh, much easier for us what you can do is uh, go to lottyfiles.com and just find whatever animation that you like to import okay there's tons and tons of great and great animation you'll find uh, absolutely enormous resources here because each designer uploads uh, his or her animation to uh, this thing and yeah that's all things okay so let us uh, try one animation that we are going to do today I guess this one it looks nice that's a react native with the firebase colors which is nice okay so what you're gonna do is you can even adjust these colors you can adjust every color as it is um, and then you can edit layers uh, you, you can edit the background color you can edit the layers and you can also have a QR code if, if you wanna just share it with someone else also adjust animation speed here and you can also adjust animation speed in the code as well so what you're gonna do is just scroll above and download json 
Okay, you can log in. Um, I am already logged in, I guess. No, okay. I quickly log in and I come back. So yeah, I have downloaded this the, uh, this file. It's uh, in a zip format because it also contains, I guess, uh, the After Effects file. So we'll extract that, no problem. Now let's uh, go to GitHub, the link we had tried opening. Okay, so let's copy this dependency. Okay, you, can, you have to scroll down at the bottom. I'm gonna show you how it looks like, these animations, as you can see looks very beautiful if you use it at the right time uh, nothing better than it okay let's uh, copy this implementation uh, go to Android and uh, go to your build.gradle file okay which is app level gradle file and then just paste it now I'm gonna replace the Lottie version with this uh, 3.0.0 if you have some uh, you know in the future if you're watching it in the future if you have any other version you can upgrade it to the latest if you want to use beta you can go ahead and uh, discover their repositories so it's better not to use beta libraries because uh, if you are using you you know if you are using it in a mainstream app that might cause problems and you don't want to uh, have problems in your published apps I guess if you want to have that's your choice okay that's for it for the gradle sync and until then let's extract this file okay let's open it uh, that's data.json okay why it's it's zipped okay never mind let's extract uh, let's extract it um, okay let's extract it in pictures I guess okay I know that's not a suitable place to extract but okay fine whatever let's go to the studio back and uh, oh there's some error or it's not really synced um, okay I guess we have solved the issue there was some problem in the latest dependency um, I don't know what happened the I did not really debug it uh, because it was on the SDK side and I didn't want it to get that far so I imported the dependency that I usually use that is a beta dependency it's an uh, implementation uh, implementation dot com dot airbnb I'll give that in the description as well. If you're gonna, if you're gonna copy this same thing, you will receive no error. I, I assure you. I've used it in production apps as well. It's uh, quite stable. I just the beta thing because they were testing some feature. Okay, you can uh, get in the change log and see if you want to see that. Okay, so that's fine. So what I'm going to do next is. Uh, we have imported that JSON file now we have to put that uh, you know JSON file into a pro folder called assets okay so we cannot see any asset here so we have to create it go to app uh, right click new go to folder and uh, click on assets folder oops sorry yeah <laughs> I thought there was some weird pop-up because I'm using material th uh, theme and I'm really not used to it as well so as of now I'm not used to it okay okay fine okay so let us see here um, what we have we have it uh, we have we have it in the pitches right so let's go ahead and click on pitches I'm gonna open it in a new window and uh, there's our file let's copy it and paste it in the assets folder and boom okay so this is the JSON file that I'm talking about this is known as a JSON file it has some objects it has objects of objects sub objects and things like that yeah <laughs> so that's all and now let's write uh, some code here and we'll have the animation in. so delete it and uh, within the root tag type Lottie animation view give it a width of uh, match parent and match parent in this case okay in your case it might be different give it an ID of uh, something like um, let's say animation well, it doesn't really matter a lot and then uh, there are three parameters that you need to have okay so that's a loop Ooh, loop uh, you set it to true that means the video will replay 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 just like a GIF okay and then the next thing is uh, you have to do uh, you have to tell it file name okay we, we have it data.json if I'm not wrong you have to type it with the extension as well um, I'll just check it oh, I said data.json okay that's fine 
now what you have to do is uh, the next is autoplay autoplay enables the gif or the json file to be played as soon as the activity is launched not uh, really waiting for your command in order to start okay so as you have guessed it you can call it uh, right uh, in your activity and you can you know just uh, programmatically play it as well but i'm gonna play it like that and let's uh, fire it up in the emulator and see if it's working or not mm -mm, i'll get back to you when the emulator is up and running now the emulator is up and running and you can see the beautiful animation on your screen you can use it as a splash screen you can you do whatever you actually want to do it's just really easy i have not done any coding in the java file whatsoever and that is how easy it is okay so that's it for today if you like this video please hit that like button and subscribe and also ring that bell icon so i'm posting a video uh, quite frequently now so you can you guys can get some important updates if you want to you know uh, up your level and uh, yeah that's it thank you for watching see you next time